My name is Merrick Kensington, and I've been traveling through these forests for nigh on two months now. I'm running low on all supplies, food, water, ammunition, everything. I've left my home in York, and I've come here at the behest of the Queen of England in order to try to find and enslave native peoples, I'm supposed to be training them, household trinkets, in order to take their land, but so far I have seen nothing. I have seen no people, no resources. Nothing. It wasn't until another two months when I finally happened upon a native village. I observed them for a long time, and though their dress and language were very foreign to me, some of their customs seemed so very similar to that those back in England. They traded for food using shells and other rare objects and had advanced discussions about life and various things. The food around the area was very rich, some of the richest land I had seen so far, and they foraged for only a short period of time to get the food that they needed. I eventually decided to approach them. I give my land and life and village oh. to the royal crown of England for gifts and services granted. Kumango Shangalonga. So, fuck a die. So, what? Huh? Oh. So, so? Oh. Eh? Huh? Ah, sorry. Huh? Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh. Oh. The people in the village saw an immediate benefit to the gifts from the gifts that I had bestowed upon them, none the least including the matches. The ability to create fire on a whim greatly increased the sanitary condition of the village and reduced the instances of illness to almost zero. That and they did like to play with them a great deal. Of course, soon they would have to learn that it was not all fun and games that I had given them. And that for these gifts, they would have to work. Oi! John! Thank you, John. My fruit. Fruit. My fruit. No, 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 John. It's, it's my fruit. You see? See, John. I pick fruit. Your, your leader over there, you know, he signed this contract which says you give your land and everything on it to me. This, this fruit belongs to me. I pick fruit. Yeah, yeah, you, you pick it, but I own it. No. You, I let you have some, but I, I own the fruit and I take what I want. You're lucky I give you anything, John. Ba, can't do. 
Hey, John, speak English. You're an English citizen. Ha, walk off. Excuse me, John? Speak English. Ba. John, I don't want to have to do it like this, John. More I really don't. Hey, Check. you want to get involved? Do you want to get involved? Well, no. No. No, no. Shaka. No. Good. John, what do you say? Sorry. Sorry. Good. Now don't do it again. Due to overpicking, the trees near the village became dry and barren. Master, there's no food on the trees. I say, that would be a problem now, wouldn't it, Bill? Well, I guess we'll have to find something else for you to do. But no food. Yeah. No work. Here. Take this. I've got some work for you to do. I put the people in the village to work mining gold. However, they did not take well to this new, much harder labor, and dissent increased. Uh, you do good work for natives. I'm proud of you. Bullshit. No work for you. No more. No work for me. No work for you. you, you know, oh, it's funny. Because I think you are doing work for me, is what I think. No. No more. Oh, I see that. Okay. Well, here's how it's going to work. The last one to get back into that trench and start working is going to die. So, who's it going to be? Richard, Bill, John, who do you want to die? Listen to Richard, Bill. He's got the mind. No work. No work! It's so sad. Well, Bill, looks like today, it's you.